the ketogenic diet does not is not necessarily a weight loss diet. You you can formulate the diet to be weight neutral, constructing the diet so that the majority of the ketones are being produced uh, inside your body are coming from food as opposed to from your body fat. So you can do that. And I have had some normal weight patients and even some slightly underweight patients and some very physically fit patients, you know, very athletic patients uh, who did not need to lose any weight, uh, adopt this diet and experience remarkable uh, improvements in their, in their mental health. The weight loss as a benefit, but not necessarily the goal. The diets that had historically been used to treat a pediatric epilepsy, especially early on, were very restrictive. Uh, with respect to protein. And so they were extremely high fat diets, about 90% fat, and in many cases, about 6% protein. Far too little protein. Yeah, just too little protein to, to be healthy, especially for, for, for growth. Three of the major driving forces underlying neuropsychiatric illnesses are inflammation, oxidative stress, and insulin resistance. You're going to see problems throughout the body, the brain and in the rest of the body, including in the, the gut is the first line of defense. If you're eating the wrong way, the gut is going to be the first to experience uh, the, the impact of that. And that can be anything from foods that are physically irritating, mechanically irritating to the gut that really are, uh, you know, were never really meant for human consumption, things like grains and, and legumes and certain types of seeds. And, uh, and all the way to, uh, uh, you know, foods that are very difficult to digest uh, and, and foods that cause inflammation and that and even contain certain toxins. So there are some uh, plant foods uh, that can naturally contain toxins, which, which are damaging to our cells. And so the, the gut will be the first, that's your first line of defense. Your gut will be the first to experience the uh, effects of, a, of an unhealthy diet. What I should say is that if you have um, gut health problems, one of the places to look for problems is the amount and type of fiber in your diet. And, and often the recommendation is to increase the amount and type of fiber in your diet. And what and there's actually no science to support that whatsoever. There are a few studies that show us that actually if you do the opposite, if you reduce the amount of fiber in your diet and you and you ate a diet that is easier to digest because fiber is by definition indigestible. So it makes sense then stands to reason that if you eat too much fiber, you might actually suffer from indigestion. 